what, uh, what's, what's the upside about that Keekley? Obviously, he had a heck of a lot of success in this league. What, what does he do so well, and why is it, what makes him so good? Um, I think um, he's been a great player in his league for, uh, since he's been here for a while, and um, I think he's good at everything. He's very instinctive. He's going to be around the ball every time. Um, he's good at, you know, reading the quarterback, being in the right place to get picked. So, but he's a, you know, total package at uh, linebacker. This team's at the halfway point of the season. What, what, what do you feel like needs to, to get better to maybe help this team take the next step? Well, as a team or me personally? Probably both. Maybe you personally and then maybe as a team as well. I think we just uh, build off of the good things we're doing and just improve on things we need to work at. And as far as me, I feel like I can take it to the next level to help this team. You know, I always feel like I can do that. You know, to make this run that we want to make, you know, uh, you no, know, because it's hard to win in this league. So, you know, just I think just focus on being consistent at the good things, and then like you always do, like any other way, work on the things that we need to get better at, and then you know let it carry on to the game. Let's just Coach Rabel emphasize that 21 point mark for you guys. I think you guys are 10 and 0 under Rabel. We just scored 21 or more. I didn't even know that. He, he don't really we don't really talk about stuff like that. Yeah. Did, you, did you realize he hurt his hand yesterday when he hit you on the face mask? What, what did he say? Yeah, he hit it pretty hard, but he didn't say anything. I know he wrapped it up and he kept going. If you think back to uh, the Heisman race when you won it, uh, were you able to develop a relationship with Christian McCaffrey in that short period of time? Um, yeah, we got to talk, um, you know, on and off, you know, going through that process. Um, it, it, that was a, a fun week, um, and yeah, so I got to know him a little bit through there and then just watching him from, from there on out. He's clearly a guy that's a lot smaller than him, but yeah. I mean, when you look at touches, he's over 50% of their touch, 46%, a high amount regardless. Does it surprise you that a guy that size is able to handle that uh, bulk of, of the work? I, not really, because I knew he was gonna do that when he came in the league, just how he played at, at Stanford. Um, you know, um, he's a great player, one of the best players in the league, and he's playing at a high level right now. You know, he's doing a lot of great things for the team, especially on offense. Um, he can do it all, man. Running, catching, you know, he's physical and blocking. So I think he's a total package at running back, and he's been doing a great job. And you know, hope he has continues continued success, except against us. I know you got to pride yourself on protecting the football. Was last week maybe a reminder that you know ball security is, is always paramount? Oh yeah, yeah, it's very very critical. You know, me just trying to break a tackle. You know, that shows right there. Ball security is critical because I broke the tackle and then hit the ball with my knee. So you know, you just got to keep it high and tight. You know. We got a focal point this week and uh, make sure I'm conscious of it and just concentrate on keeping the ball tight whenever I'm trying to uh, make a move on the defender or you know, embracing the tackle.